Here's problem 24, 16. A spherical conductor radius one centimeter with a charge of two picocoulombs is within a concentric hollow spherical conductor inner radius three centimeters, outer radius four centimeters, which has a total charge of minus three picocoulombs. What is the magnitude of the electric field two centimeters from the center of these conductors? All right, let's see if we can imagine what we have here. One, two, three, four. We have a inner conductor, positive charge, let's call it Q1, equal to two picocombs. We have a outer conducting shell of inner radius three centimeters, outer radius four centimeters. Charge on that is negative. And that Q2 is equal to a negative three picocombs. We want to find the electric field at a point P located at two centimeters away from the center. And uh, our approach will be the principle of superposition. We'll find the individual effects of each of these charge distributions and then add those effects together. As I look at the uh, Q1, there is going to be an E field emanating away from this positive charge in all directions. And at point P as I've drawn it, that E field will be going to the right like this. And E1 will be equal to K Q1 over R1 squared. For the uh, shell, there's going to be no E field because we're inside the shell. And so by Gauss's law, we would not enclose any charge of that shell. There'd be no flux due to it. And hence, there is no E field. So E2 is going to equal zero because we are inside the shell. So we don't have to worry about the shell, and we can, we can forget about that. So our E field is only going to be due to the Q1. And so E is going to equal E1 is going to equal um, K, 9 times 10 to the 9, times Q1, which is 2 picocombs, 2 times 10 to the minus 12, over R is our distance from the center of that charge, which is going to be uh, two centimeters. So we got 0 0.02 meters squared. And so what is this? 9 times 10 to the 9 times 2 picocoulombs, 2 times 10 to the minus 12, divided by 2 centimeters squared, 4 times 10 to the minus 4, gives me 45 newtons per coulomb. As I've drawn it, it would be to the right, like that. So that is the electric field, two centimeters from the center of these conductors. That is 45 newtons per coulomb, and it's only due to the positive charge on the inside.